Welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox on the Series X. And this is the update 1.199. I'm not going to go through the patch notes. This is a little showcase on the features and the blocks, what you're getting for your free update. This is the free update part because we've had some pretty cool stuff drop with this update. You may have seen my video yesterday. If not, go back and watch it because it talks all about the changes to power and brake, which is really important. So what do you get? That's the question. Well, we've got 60 new shapes with these armor panel blocks. Now these can be applied to armor that's already down, like a, an armor block, or you can build with them. So you get heavy and light armor variants with small and large grid. So that's 64 total new blocks. And to give you an idea, these are just a few that I've thrown here if you're looking to flesh out the interior of a ship or you're looking just to make a base more interesting maybe an outpost you can make things like this these armor blocks can be used as cladding they can be individually colored as well so if i pop open the thing you'll see we have a light armor panel we have a light armor panel slope we have a side we have a base and we have a slope tip a base right tip right base left tip left we've got some half slopes we've got some light armor half panels to the right we've got the light armor half panel tips right light armor half panel base on the left tip left half panel quarter panel and then back to the light armor panel and as you can see they fit the top blocks that have already been placed which is nice if you want to sheathe your ship in armor but also you want to make your ship with a different color on the outside compared to the block interior because these you can color separately so you can see if I color this one green it doesn't change the color of the armor in front because of course it's a separate block now these things are one PCU paired to the light armor here of two so if you're building a ship and you want to clad it in some armor then you can add to the durability of your ship a little they aren't the most durable on the planet but it's extra durability and more importantly it's extra build options because with these you've got more option when you're designing a ship say you wanted to make a kind of i don't know have like a 
a little sort of fin, maybe, like this, ring off. I haven't fully played with these yet, so I'm still getting used to them. But extra blocks, as far as I'm concerned, always good. I'm sure there's some, maybe some wondrous things that you can do with them. people will come up with some grand designs and ideas but I can see them being very useful for exterior plating and so on but those are the armor panel blocks all part of the free update what else do we get well you may notice that this is a small grid merge block. That's right. We can now pop a merge block down onto our small one by one by one. Very useful if you want to make your own player created missiles. Have them detach and you may have seen them before but I've got them here anyway from that these are your magnetic plates that come with the free part of the industry update we've got large and small grid versions so you can use them for cranes custom landing gear like this or anything else. I was thinking you could potentially use them as anchor points for bombs or anchor points for um, drop pods. So you could create a drop pod and then drop it out of the bottom of the ship with a lot less space used than regular landing gear. So you can make some really flush designs now as well. There you go. Those are very useful. Really, really fond of them. I mean, you compared to the landing gear. There's your free magnetic plate that you get with your free part of the update. If you buy the DLC, of course, you're going to get this stonker as part of the DLC. We'll touch on the DLC on the next video as a showcase, as I like to do. This is a look at what you get as part of the free update. So the next thing, we've got some new propaganda posters. I mean, different variants, horizontal and vertical. And I've got them on a little demo screen. You get three. And they're really well done. Really well designed. Preparing us for the inevitable war that is coming. When war calls, industry answers. You can see right there what we've got. And as I did in my previous video we have the new functionality of the connectors watch that previous one if you want to see all that in action 
Let's see. If I press Y on this ship, I don't toggle anything whatsoever because I have turned off both the landing gear and the connector's ability to be used by the Y button. If I want to activate, deactivate them, I have to use the D-pad where I put them on shortcuts. Because by default now, the Y button will only turn the power and so on off on the current grid you're connected to, not, or rather the current grid you're in. Any connected grids, unless you override that functionality, will not be toggled. And you'll see there's a new power as well. Notice I can turn the power off quite nicely on this ship and not have to worry about turning off any blocks connected to it. But if I push left bumper and um, sorry, right bumper and left on the D-pad, you'll see that I've turned off the connected grid. So that's the new functionality in another quick nutshell in terms of what you can do with it. It's going to be great for making carriers now because no longer will we have to worry about pressing the Y button by accident and disconnecting everything in sight. There's another part of this free update that I mentioned yesterday but didn't show off. This is our handy rover. This is Chonky. Chonky rover. Right here. Now, I was uh, asked by Ed Clift on the Facebook group if it was possible to make a sensor that stopped a rover if a player entered the field previously to 1.199 no not really not as easily as it is now now we can bring chunky forwards and chunky now is stuck until that player moves out of Chonky's center field. Let me move myself out of the way. You'll see that Chonky can move again. I'll go through a tutorial on how I did this in another video but it really is quite simple now and it's all thanks to this brand new change to the way that um, timer blocks work with cockpits and wheels and so on and the parking brake and also as part of this brand new update we have the winners of the Sounds of Space Engineers, the music competition. Five, six. Fifteen or sixteen tracks, I can't quite remember, um, of winning music, including Sector 347 by Jan or Jan Alpha. find these on the jukebox and play around with them at your leisure playing for a little bit and then we get a brand new scenario you may have heard mention of Pertum Orbiter well what is it Take a quick look. You'll find Pertum Orbiter under your new game menu. Easiest way to get to it. Hit custom, custom game, scroll down, and you'll see Pertum Orbiter there. 
then just start it as you normally would. I've got one already. I've got a couple of mods running, Skybox and um, synthetic materials I was playing around with. But this is the Pertum Orbiter. Purposes of this particular demonstration, yes, I mean. It comes pretty complete with a lot of things to explore. I'm not going to go through them all. I'm just going to give you a very brief look at what we've got. Uh, this is a superbly designed scenario, an excellent one that I think would be great multiplayer. Give yourself a goal of getting down to Pertum's surface and exploring. There are numerous little hidden things like a like asteroid stations and so on, and mines, perfect for materials and resources. And it uses the blocks from heavy industry as well. So if you want to see what's in the DLC, well, look no further than Pertum Orbiter. The mining ship. See some of the new armor panels in use here look how they've been used to create specific features to the new ships beam blocks which can also be used to make a more industrial looking miner can't wait to see what people come up with really looking forward to that uh, those are part of the paid DLC. You'll see those in the next video. Same thing over here. A nice chunky industrial looking ship. Complete with cockpit. All mod cons. Again. These armor plates. The new armor panels being used to make a more interesting looking ship. And there's even more stuff on the planet Pertum. If you can find it, there's even a drone control on one of these bases that lets you connect to a drone on the planet's surface using a laser antenna. Although you may need to fiddle with it a little to get it to work. That's all part of the fun of the Pertum Orbiter scenario. But that is your free update as part of 1.199. So, as a brief recap, you get the armor panel blocks, the small grid merge block, the magnetic plate, the three LCD images, this scenario that we're on at the moment, the new updated functionality for both parking brake and power as well as all of those winning tracks from the sounds of space engineers plus a whole host of bug fixes and um, a few minor changes here and there which i will leave the actual um, patch notes in the description of this video along with the link to marek's blog so you can see everything that marek talked about I'll be diving into Heavy Industries DLC portion in the next video, which is a really good one. I'm uh, extremely, extremely pleased with Heavy Industry in general. I like the look of these new bits and pieces and just before we go i'll give you a quick show of some of the things i'm going to be talking about in the next video including here things like the new industrial assemblers 
more rugged looking industrial style conveyor tubes industrial refiner which looks fantastic and this lovely large industrial cargo container perfect if you're making a big freighter and you need to some big cargo boxes in the freighter itself that looks great and that is all i'm going to show for now as part of this little teaser of the heavy industry paid dlc so as i always say stay safe take care have fun enjoy the game this is just heavy industry warfare 2 is on the way as and when that will be and what it contains is still a mystery but i'm pretty sure we'll start finding out as we move further and further towards it bye for now